Hi everybody, this is Coach John. I wanted to talk about uh, New Year's resolution. Since it's that time of year, we're thinking about you know, what, what we want to accomplish in 2020. Uh, and one of the biggest reasons why I think a lot of people fail is because, or fail their New Year's resolutions. There's a huge you know, percentage of people that are gonna try and say not stick to their New Year's resolutions. And the biggest reason I think is because they don't really have strong enough reasons why. So there's, there's, there's something called uh, finding your five, six, seven, you know, and that's really kind of nailing down the reason why you really want um, what you want or whatever you're going after. So um, I wanted to go through kind of an exercise that you can do with yourself and ask yourself, you know, and find out what your five, six, seven is so that you can be successful uh, this New Year's because if you don't have a strong enough why, the, the distractions are going to come. Look, the distractions are going to come your way where, you know, things are hard, you don't have enough time, whatever the excuse may be, um, they're going to come. And if your why isn't strong enough, the distractions are going to win every single time. So, you know, when you got to work out in the morning and, it's, and you're super tired, instead of just, you know, if you have a strong why, you're going to get up and you're going to do that workout. If your why is really not that strong, you're kind of like, hey, I just want to lose 20 pounds, you're not going to get up that morning and then you're going to start taking the easy way out, which then leads to you not fulfilling what you're looking to accomplish in 2020. So we did, I kind of wrote out kind of how you would say talk about uh, your goals in finding our five, six, seven. So you're pretty much going to ask yourself five, six, or seven questions to find out the real reason why you want to do something. So say somebody comes to us and they say, I want to lose 20 pounds. Okay, so what we would dig from there, so that's a very surface level like, hey, I just want to lose 25 pounds. Okay, well, why do you want to do that? Why is it important to you that you lose 20 pounds, okay? Well, you know, say, just for example, I want to feel better about myself, okay? Kind of like we, we have kind of understood that, that's very still surface level. It's like, okay, well, why is it important to you that you want to feel better? You'd say, well, you know, then you start digging. Well, I used to feel good about myself and how I look, but now I don't really feel that way. I was always an athlete or I was always working out and, you know, or say whatever happened. Now I just don't really feel good about myself and I, I'm really missing that and I want to feel better about myself. It's like, okay, now we're getting to a point where we can start getting some strong emotion in there that's actually going to carry you through distractions, but we still kind of dig deeper. Now, why is that important to you? Okay, why do you want to feel uh, happy with yourself? How do you want, why do you want to look better? Well, I no longer feel confident and I want my kids to also feel confident. So maybe they notice that, you know, their kids are starting to pick up tendencies that they have, you know, now, or maybe they're taking the easy way out or, or maybe they're not working hard toward, towards their goals, or maybe they're just not happy and they see that that's kind of carrying over to the kids. Now we're getting some, some really strong stuff. Um, why is it important to you that you're a, a solid uh, role model? Then you start getting to five, six, seven, where, well, you know what? I really don't want to feel, I, I don't want them to feel like I do. And I want them to be healthy. Okay. So that's something when you're waking up at five in the morning, you know, to go to your early workout, like that's going to carry some weight. That's what's going to get you to lose that 20 pounds because this is kind of the real reason. This is what you're actually found, you're finding. You're finding the real reason why you're actually, you want to lose that 20 pounds. Okay. So why is that important to you that, that you want them to be healthy? You know, I want them to be happy. Or I want to be happy so that my kids will be happy. Okay. Your children's happiness, you know, is somehow tied to you losing 20 pounds. I know that seems far fetched, but when you start digging into the real reason why, and you have to keep asking yourself why you want something, why you want something, because look, sometimes we do stuff for our ego. Say you want to buy, you know, a, a super, super nice house that you can't afford. You know, the real reason why you wanted that was to kind of impress people. Okay. The real reason why you might want to lose 20 pounds is because, you know, maybe you're depressed and you don't want your family to feel depressed and maybe you just want to do better by your husband or wife or whatever it may be. And those are the reasons that you have to find, you know, to make sure that you're successful because you're going to make these goals. And if you're just sitting there like, I got to lose 20 pounds because I feel fat, <laughs> it's only going to carry you so long, which typically what happens with, say, the New Year's resolutioners, you know, the, the, that percentage of people that try to set new goals for the year fall off is because they're still thinking about the surface level stuff of, well, I want to lose 20 pounds ah, just because I'm fat. Okay, well, we need to dig deeper and ask yourself, you know, if you want your kids to be happy and you want to be happy, that could be something that you could hold on to. And I want to be a strong example for them. So 
sit down with yourself, write out, hey, this is what I want to accomplish, and then start asking yourself why, and why, and why, and keep going down until about, you know, usually you can find that answer when the five, six, or seventh answer um, that's going to carry you. So when you wake up in the morning, don't want to do what you do, <laughs> the hard stuff, you can fall back on the real reason why you want to accomplish these goals and you will accomplish them. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We have an awesome New Year's resolution or New Year's challenge uh, where you pretty much you get to decide what you get to pay. You get four weeks of unlimited training and we donate all of that money to Helping Hounds. We're going to add the link below just so you guys can uh, get some more information on that. If you, have, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Take it easy.